Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. As we left off, we heard from Dahlia Halter, not her spirit, at least. And, well, um, yeah, she's pretty much saying that Elise Donim, or Misty Fade, was the one who channeled, uh, Dahlia, and she wanted to kill Maya, but it turns out that Maya killed, uh, Misty, supposedly. The thing is, she's saying that um, when Maya found out what she did, she killed herself by jumping over the, uh, jumping into the Eagle River. But now, we're trying to refute, free refute that claim because, uh, well, Godot says it's impossible to throw herself from the Inner Temple side. Why? Well, let's take a quick look at the Hazakira Temple map, right? Now look at the Inner Temple. Uh, on the right, you see that. Now, look by the bridge and, like, you know, look at her surrounding areas of the inner temple. I don't think there's any way a person could actually jump from that side and land in that river. Why? Because you're not going to be hitting the river. You see, like, the riverbank, or, like, you know, the, uh, I'm not really sure what the way you want to call it, but, um, there's, like, land there. There's no way that she would actually hit the, ver the water, so, yep, I think that, that really um, contradicts her claim now, doesn't it? It's impossible to jump to the Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. No one knows that better than a witness. What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped in the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff of the Inner Temple side is a big rock shelf. I guess that's what you want to call it. Oh! Oh! You're right! She wouldn't have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. In other words, if she had jumped, we should have been able to see her body in this photo! Ah! Ha! So you finally figured it out. You... No! So, Gano seems like he's helping us here. What? Order! Order! You... You're just playing with me. Maya Faye's body is at the bottom of the Eagle River. There's nowhere else she could possibly be hiding. Miss Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Yes, just a few minutes ago. Maya Fey wasn't inside the Sacred Cavern. We now know that she did not throw herself into the Eagle River. Correct. That eliminates all the po all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place that she could be in. What? What is this one possibility you're talking about? That's obviously a bluff. So where is her dead body then? Finally. I think I, the places are fi falling into place. Normally, the living have no way to punish the dead. But I think there's a way to give Dahlia Hoth Hawthorne an ultimate punishment. Shall I tell you, Miss Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya is this very instant? Maya is? Well, she's at the Inner Temple, has a Cure Temple, but look at that third choice. In this very courtroom. Now, we looked top down everywhere at the Inner Temple and Hasekira Temple, there's no one there. Inner Temple is like an island. They looked everywhere, they opened up the Sacred Cavern, only one in there was uh, Sister Iris. So that means, uh, so that, that eliminates the Inner Temple, but even Hasekira Temple, people looked everywhere. Maya wasn't there. So you might be thinking, well, that only leaves in the courtroom. Think about it. If we select in this courtroom, what does that even mean? Well, you'll see. Because, yeah, in this very courtroom, there's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. Wh what? Maya Faye is here? You say she's here in my courtroom? Seems like I don't even know. Dahlia Hawthorne? I seem to recall that you said I had misunderstood one thing, you see. 
So what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who is channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? Why that? That's obvious! It's Pearl Fay, that pathetic little shriveling runt! You're wrong. Pearl's tried, but she couldn't do it. And she... Yeah, here's Pearl saying that she tried all these times, but nothing could happen. Remember when she said Pearl, she gave an explanation that someone else is already channeling the spirit, then no one else could channel that again at the same time, because you only have one spirit. Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? Uh, Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime, but she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clearer to you right about now, am I correct? None! It wasn't Pearls that channeled you! There was someone who called you before she could! All logical conclusion, let's think about this for a little bit. It's very easy to figure out. Mia's dead. Pearl is, well, she couldn't do it. Godot's not a freaking, uh, psychic. Or, uh, yeah, she, he's not a psychic. Not a psychic. I doubt it wasn't Bikini. She's dead. Iris is Iris, no. He can't do it. She can't do it. He can't do it. That's her. And Morgan's in jail. So that leaves one more person. Bada bing, bada boom, people. This is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it, and Misty Fay is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already! I can't stand attention! I'm sure that's what you guys are thinking. Dahlia Hawthorne, the person telling you right now must be Maya Fay. What? What? Yeah, come on. Let's see how let's see how she's gonna take this. But how could that be? Remember what this witness Dolly Hawthorne said about her goal. She said that her goal was to kill Maya Fay. Yes, that's right. But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her, ha. <laughs> well, Gramps, what would happen? Could it be? It looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, I don't. Where are you going on about? What I'm gonna, what I'm going on about is the reason Maya channeled you, and there's only one reason: to protect herself from you. To protect herself from me? Yes. At the night of the crime, you were the only, you were only interested in one thing: killing Maya Faye. The path to the Inner Temple was closed off, and there was nowhere for her to run. So then the problem became, where would the safest place to hide? Where would be the safest place? Ah! You mean, that's when she channeled me? All along you thought you had been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you. That Maya's hiding place was you! No! No! Don't- Oh my god, I was kind of creepy there. Don't say that. Oh, Seriously, look at that face. She is mad. She's pissed. You would never want to run into that, now would you? You're saying that I was played for a fool by a little whelp? Maya Faye killed herself. Isn't it obvious? Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into Eagle River. This was the only avenue escape open to Maya. The only thing that Maya could disappear was it from the Inner Temple. I don't believe you. A stupid little girl like that who has never been out, of the re out in the real world. She could never have come up with a plan like that. Who could have ever given her such a brilliant idea? Well... Me, of course. M Mia! Mia Fey! It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, 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 this is being so good. Oh, well, that's good old silent there. So it's true. It was you. Yes. Ha! You're something else. But what? What are you doing here? That hair? It's pearls, right? Tell me something, Dahlia. 
I want you to think back to the night one more time. You had just cornered Maya in the Inner Temple's garden, and then, in the final moments of the flight, of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by Maya Fey. Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did. Not terribly surprising since she was she was about to be killed. When she woke up, she was in the training hall. That's where Maya decided she needed help, so she channeled me. She explained in her memo the situation she was in. She asked me what I thought she should do. She did that? I can't believe it. Of course, I didn't have all the details, but uh, one thing was perfectly clear. And that was... I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel, channel, channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible, and lock herself in the Sacred Cavern until help arrived. So it was Maya who put that lock on there. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't had done it, Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Faye. Pearls? Yes, Pearl didn't properly understand the plan, so all she was trying to do was follow her mother Morgan's Faye instructions. And if she had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly, to put it, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. Dahlia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Maya at all costs. Yes, it certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. How dare you! I won't forget this! Why not just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne? Your little plan was nothing but a big failure. Yes, another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? But what did you- what do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? How dare you! Eleven years ago. The fake kidnapping. Your very first crime. You got your hands on two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went out, went out to meet Valerie Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. SHUT YOUR MOUTH! THAT WASN'T MY FAULT! It was because of that stupid oath of a prisoner and that weakling of a policewoman. And then, one year later, you tried to kill me. Well... I'm still alive, but, uh... You wound up killing someone else. As a result, you were sentenced to death. It's one stupid move after another for you. But it's no longer funny. You! Wipe that smug, happy-go-lucky smile off your face! And now this! You messed up again! You let Maya Faye escape! Even though she was right there in front of you! Mia Faye! Oh god, she's going... Oh god... You spinster! What? I was supposed to kill Maya Faye like I swore I would! And if only you had gotten that spiky her jerk the guilty verdict, it wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been hanged to death. True. But I think you finally understood, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defeat me. What? What did you say? Whether you're alive, dead, or somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all of eternity. Uh, uh, uh. I remember what you said earlier in the trial. 
You said there was no way we could punish you. Because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on. Forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. For all of eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne. A miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win at anything. And for you, there is no escape from that. No hope for free of freedom. Since the day you were executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you has burnt to a crisp. You... Ooh, yeah, you might, you guys might want to, you know, um, turn away or be prepared, because this is kind of creepy. You're wrong. It can't be. How could I lose to the likes of you? If I can disorient my voice in some like video, re like you know, voice recording software, I probably would, and I probably, I probably could figure it out, but I'm kind of lazy, so no. It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of my body right now. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna scream, but uh, take a little gander at this, people. Yeah, but uh, that's kind of yep. It's, it's getting creepy. And uh, yeah, that scream scared the hell out of me the first time I played. And that's a very disturbing image, in my opinion. I'm not ready. Not ready to go. And yes, you are. And if you look, that was that's the symbol of Magatama, or, you know, the Korean technique. And I'm getting a little paranoid, because I'm actually in my basement recording this right now, and seeing that kind of freaked me out, so I'm going to try finishing this up a little quickly. And look, it's Maya. There she is. Nick. Sis. Oh, God. Um, yeah, my, don't stand her. Help her out. You see Phoenix, like, leaning his hand on the thing. It's like, oh, yeah, she fell. It's okay. Now then. I assume you are the real Iris? Yes. I was just rescued from the Sacred Cavern. I must say, you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared out. Mr. Godot, what happened to Dahlia Hawthorne? If you ask me, Your Honor, it looks like she went back to the hell she came from. Hmm. It seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only victim of this crime. Maya Fay, as well as the young Pearl Fay, were also victims of this wicked and selfish plan. Yes, Your Honor. The tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. It would have been best for everyone if no, lo no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. Um, Your Honor? Yes, what is it? About this whole spirit medium thing, it's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the, the concept right now. Well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticizes me for not studying hard enough. That's why I made a con 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 concerted, concerted effort. I guess it's concerted effort to study up on a Korean channeling technique. Hey, isn't that the new issues of old, old cult? New Year's issue, whatever. I've seen quite a few things in my many years on the on the bench. In all that time, I finally learned that one, this one thing. Each one is different. It takes place in its own world, if you will. In order to fully understand that world, first we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where my brother and I used to differ. Hmm, I haven't thought of it that way. At any rate, it's time to pass judgment in the case of the Iris of Hazakira Temple. Finally! Objection! Damn it! Why? Why? You're a little too fast to that gavel, Your Honor. What do you mean by that, Mr. Godot? This trial, it isn't over yet. That's what he means. What? Trite. 
Remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony? Huh? Dahlia's testimony? And... yep. Okay. Oh, yeah! She says that she was stabbed. Hmm... I wonder what that means. Just as Dahlia Hawthorne was about to attack Maya, she was stabbed and killed by someone. Yes! That's right! The person that was ultimately killed was a spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. At least Donin. No, Misty Fate. But who killed her? We still don't know who did it! Th this isn't over?! I'm sure that's, that's what you guys are thinking right now. It's like, crap, I thought this game was almost done. Well, it is almost done, but you thought it was done now. Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. We can't let her walk until there's evidence that proves that her innocence. No way! But this court isn't prepared for any further testimony. The prosecutor is ready to call our final witness. Final witness? This one will clear up the whole mystery. The mystery of who killed Missy Faye. Hmm. Indeed. Is it really alright, Mr. Prosecutor? Of course it's alright, Madam Attorney. Very well then. Who is his final witness? Ha! <laughs> Isn't it obvious? There's one person who saw the whole event and will put the final dagger in this case. Someone who saw the murder took place? The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her own eyes. You mean... Maya? You can't! She can't testify after what she's been through! We need to find the truth. The prosecution calls Maya fate to the witness stand. Very well. First, we'll take a brief recess. We'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover before summoning her. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Hey, Trite. I got something to say to you, so listen up. What is it? I don't think much of you as a lawyer. It's always been the same with you. You somehow manage to just squeak, squeak by even without even a faint understanding of the case. Some beautiful woman always seems to come dashing in at the last minute to save you. You've got some nerve! But that's not gonna happen this time. This time, you're gonna have to do this by yourself. That's enough! This court is now a recess. Oh boy. Yes, we thought it was done, but no. No, 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 no. You guys haven't seen anything yet. Trust me, yeah, you, you might be like, wait a minute, what else is there? There's still a couple more surprises, guys. Trust me. I'm truly sorry about everything. You were working so hard to defend me. But I was missing all day. We didn't even have a chance to talk. She's right. When I met Iris at the training hall yesterday, they had already switched places. And Iris was inside the sacred cavern. I wanted to be at least in the defendant's box today to root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You were locked up this whole entire time. There's something more important than that, though. I have to ask you. Why did you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you had tried to get help at the Sacred Cavern yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. My sister... I felt sorry for her. She was abandoned by her mother and never got any love from our father either. Yes, but it was the same for you too, wasn't it? Yes, but at least I had Sister Bikini, who was like a mother to me. If only Dahlia had, had come with me to Hasekira Temple. I always... I always loved her. Dahlia was always so smart, so strong. She never complained about a thing. That's why I... That's why I promised her that I would help her. Are you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yes. I wanted to be useful to her in some way. 
But, as usual, I was too cowardly. At the last moment, I ran away. Because of that, Dahlia's half-sister, Valerie, ended up... That was a case that wounded, wounded my, Mia so badly. But, things don't end there, of course. Some people suspected that my sister was involved in the murder. Some people? You must mean... Yes, two defense lawyers. Mia Faye and Diego Armando. After poisoning Mr. Armando, who was getting too close to learning the truth, Dahlia even tried to kill the person who had unknowingly hid the poison from her. You! That's right. Iris, there's one more thing I have to ask you. Yes, what is it? On the night of the murder, the person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim, Billy Stonin, was it... was it really you? Yes, it was me. That night, after I rang the lights out bell, I went back to my room. At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. There's a problem. Come to the inner temple right away. I... I got in the snowmobile and headed for the inner temple, but... Ah, oh, that's right. The path to the inner temple was cut off, right? Oh, that's Phoenix. Exactly. You can't just leave the body here. Alright, let's do this as you said. It was me. I was the one that received her body. The murder weapon that had been left in her body and left in her body so she could wouldn't bleed too much. The staff of Mr. Belize always held. I love how like the staff is actually all painted in silver. I, mean, I don't know if that's a a, um, a mistake on the designer's part, I don't know. I knew it. So the actual murder weapon was the staff, and now it's okay here. Yes, that's right. I brought the body back to House Care Temple on the snowmobile. But why? Why'd you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was a murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead, lead back to Misty Faye. So I dressed her in, her in her robe and stabbed her with a shishishito. I wiped the blood off the staff's blade and left it next to her, next to her on the ground. Iris, just tell me one last thing. Tell me the name of the person that called your cell phone. The real killer. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. I can't say who did it. I... I see. Okay. Defendant! Yes? The judge is calling you. He wants you to see you in his chambers. He has some questions about Dahlia Hawthorne. All right. Well then, I'll see you later. There's something I want to tell you later. Oh, um, okay. Something she wants to tell me. I wonder what that could be. So it's true. Iris cooperated with the real killer. Maybe even from the very beginning. Phoenix. Mia! Um, how's Maya doing? Physically, I'm not worried. She'll recover completely, but emotionally, she's been hurt very badly by this case. I see. You don't mean she's learned who Elise Dodum really was? Yes, I went to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I knew. But why? Maya is stronger than you think. I knew she could take it. All of it. What do you mean by that? I want you to figure that out, that answer out by yourself. The trial's about to restart. The real killer? Do you know who it is yet? Iris wouldn't tell me who called her, but still, I think I just maybe I know who it was. That night, the victim was killed in a garden of the inner temple. The criminal wasn't just there by accident, which means 
The killer knew of Dahlia's plan from the very beginning. And one more thing, the victim was moved to the house care temple site by Pendulum. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means that they were stuck on the uninterred temple site for almost an entire day. Exactly. So the criminal was someone that wasn't in House Care Temple the following day. That's as much help as I can give you. The rest of you the rest of the battle is for yours to win. Or lose. Okay, I've got it. Thank you, Mia. Finally, it's almost time to bring the case to an end. What exactly did Maya see anyway? And who was it I actually killed Misty Faye? Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me. All by myself. There you go, Phoenix. Stand up. Be proud. And we will solve this case once and for all next time we come back. I gotta say that this is actually the last save, like, forced save thing right here. Because next... No. Oh, boy. I'm sure you guys might have some ideas already. But uh, just keep them, keep them, you know, keep them in your, you know, in your head. Just keep thinking over and over. How can this case plan out even more? There's been so many surprises and twists that it's like, what else could there be? Well, there's still a couple. There's still quite a couple. So stay tuned for that. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. I'll see you guys later.